What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Chaos Sky Car. All right, guys, so the random question of the day is, which would you pick? Being famous for something great, being a genius, or being world-class attractive? I want to hear from you guys right down there in the comments box below. I'm going to go with being famous for doing something great, because it means I've already achieved something in my life which made me famous in the first place, and it's a great thing, so there's that. Being a genius would be nice, however, it means I have yet to achieve my goals, so eh, that's kind of a toss-up there, and I mean, as far as I'm concerned, being attractive really doesn't mean much of anything. Thing, so that one's just right out the window for me. But I want to hear from you guys right down there in the comments box. So today we're looking at this interesting looking Chaos Sky Car mod from Segeli with a big huge shout out and thank you going to Segeli for allowing me to take a look at one of these devices for the purpose of making this video. So the first thing I thought of when I put the batteries in this thing and I saw these LED lights, I thought, wow, another mod with lights on it. Really nothing special there. But once I started using it, I realized that it was a very powerful little device. So taking a quick look online, this device comes in four different color options for you to choose from. You have black, white, yellow, and red, and it's going to run you about 60 bucks. So it's a little bit on the pricey side for a mod-only kit, especially coming from Sigeli. However, it's still reasonable, and I could definitely see a lot of people wanting to pick one of these up for themselves. If you are one of those people, then make sure you check out the link I've got on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive down to the close-up view and take a better look at this thing. Alright guys, so as you can see, we've got our Chaos Sky Car mod in its original box, so let's quickly take a look around the packaging, then we'll talk about what's inside. So, upon first inspection, lovely bit of design here with a wireframe and a funky looking image. And then you look a little bit closer, and then you notice it's really pixelated. So, way to go graphic designer over there in China. Come on, get your head in the game. Sky Car mod right there, chaosec6.com at the bottom. Scratch and check, Sky Car mod logo again, Sigeli logo, and UPC right there at the bottom. On the bottom just a Segeli logo and on the top we have color indications mine is white and I'm not sure about these other colors I haven't seen them but maybe they're available somewhere in any case we've got the pertinent information on the back specs contents some legal mumbo jumbo some warnings some extra little symbols down there at the bottom this stuff is matched on the inner box as well of course minus the UPC and scratch and check let's take off the lid see what we get in the box QC certificate of course this past QC. We've got the little instructions on how to use the warranty, blah blah blah. Yeah, we've seen that a million times. User manual, booklet style, tiny printing, no color graphics and tiny graphics, so I'm gonna knock off a point or two there, but overall not the worst I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, the warranty thing, once again, keep your original receipt. There it is, right there in plain English and several other languages. You know what, I must say, all this paperwork would have been really nice if it were kind of hidden away underneath or something like that. I really don't like their presentation, but that's just me. We've got the Skycar mod itself, which we'll be taking a look at in just a second here. And and last but not least, how much you want to bet this is our USB cable. Let's see. Hey, we've got a USB cable. Pretty standard. Pretty much the same one you get in every single Segeli mod, so nothing too special there. All right, guys, let's talk about the specs. First of all, it takes two high amp 18650 batteries. Wattage output range is 10 to 230 watts. Voltage output range is 1 to 7.5 volts. Resistance range is 0.1 ohms to 3 ohms. It has a durable zinc alloy and plastic construction, sports car modeling, changeable LED lights, oversized firing button, magnetized battery door design, reverse battery protection, battery imbalance protection, low input voltage warning, short circuit protection, overheat protection. It has a micro USB port with 2 amp max charging rate and 510 connection. All right, guys, so let's get this Chaos Sky Car mod up and running. First thing we're going to do is flip it over. We've got this little cutout indentation right here at the bottom. So you can take off your battery door just like that. And let's go ahead and install our batteries. It's got this little layout of how your batteries go, which is nice. The spring loaded section is up here at the top. So we're going to put the positive in that one. Flip our ribbon over, negative up on this one. And there we go. We just pop our battery door back on and we are up and running. So as you can see, the lights are on now, which are kind of nice. And if you want to change those lights, it's just three clicks on the button here. One, two, three. And then you can change the LED colors. Now you have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, six different colors that you can choose from for those LEDs, which is kind of nice. And up here, while it's firing, is your battery life indication. So I'm just gonna leave it on something pretty easy to see. Let's go with red for right now. And you can just leave this, or if you hold the fire button down, it locks it into place, as you can see there, by that indication. The other thing about this device is the wattage indication around the dial here. Uh, you can kind of see it goes from green to light blue, and then once you get up into the higher wattages, it goes to purple, and then finally red. So all the way up is red, and the little dial here is definitely fiddly. It's kind of hard to control and a little bit eh, not my favorite thing about this device. Plus, I'm going to try to show you this here. It kind of wiggles. It wiggles around on you, which makes it feel a lot less quality. So that's really unfortunate there as well. So now that we have our tank on here, I know that this coil is rated 70 plus or minus 10 watts. So I prefer this one on 65. So I aim it just directly at the 65 watt increment right there. And you gotta be careful because if you tap it like that, it can bump it. And you gotta just really be careful with this one. But when you start firing it, it has this kind of cool LED ring effect there. It goes kind of in circles like that, which is kind of neat, really. Nothing too fancy, but you know, it just gives it a kind of a nice effect. And their USB charging port is right here at the side, max two amps, which is nice for quick charge. You have your firing button right there, and you can also shut this device on and off with five clicks. Just like that, your LEDs are gonna flash, and now the device is off and safe. So that's how I like to carry this thing around in my pocket. But that's pretty much all I have to show you in this little close-up section. So let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on this thing, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the close-up section of this video. Now let's talk about my personal thoughts about this device, some pros, some cons, and whether or not it's worth purchasing. Starting off with the pros, my first pro is that the overall quality feels really good. Now, personally, I don't baby my mods. I take them out into the world and give them a proper testing. I really want to see how this thing will stand up to everyday use and abuse. And over the past couple of weeks, I've been trying this thing out, and I've only got one noticeable little nick on there, which really I can't complain that much about. Overall, this thing has a nice metal finish to it, which is really rugged and solid. I do have a little bit of a nitpicky thing to talk about, but we'll get into that a little bit later. My second pro is that it has a magnetic battery door. If you've been following my channel for any length of time, you'll know that I've been complaining a lot about the bottom latch style door designs. I really just can't stand those. I would much prefer a magnetic battery door like this one has, and that is definitely something I really do enjoy about the Skycar mod. My third pro today is I actually kind of like the lights, and that's something I never thought I would say about a device, but over the past couple of weeks, these lights have definitely grown on me. You can customize the colors, you have a battery indication light, and the light indicates what power setting you're at as well, so that's kind of a neat thing there. But, you know, overall, I kind of think that it kind of fits with the whole aesthetic of this design. The lines are really nice and just doesn't really make it too obtrusive, and it's a little bit flashy for those that like to be flashy. And my fourth and final pro for this device is that it feels like it hits very hard. Now, I don't have the instrumentation necessary to actually test the numerical value of how hard this thing is hitting, but when I have it set to 65 watts, it feels like a true 65. Now, when it comes to battery life, this thing is very good as well because you don't have to power a screen. I get a little bit of extra battery life off of this one, which definitely makes my life a little bit easier. All right, guys, so moving on to the cons. My first con is that the control system on this one is gonna be a bit confusing for newbie vapors. The dial on the front here just gives wattage and not actual power output, so it's gonna be a little bit confusing for people trying to learn Ohm's law and the correlation between the resistance of their coils and the voltage and wattage output. So this one is more for your kind of moderately skilled vapors, someone that knows what their coils are ohming out to before they put it on their device. My second con for this device is that this dial feels weak and cheap. The one thing that moves on this device, and it's the weak spot in my opinion. I feel like it's gonna break in no time at all, and I feel like they should have just beefed it up a little bit. My third con for this one is that the wattage dial on this thing really needs an actual tangible feel to it. It needs to click or something, just lock into place when you have it set to a specific wattage, because otherwise you don't know exactly what wattage you have it set to, and that can be an issue for those people that really like to dial in certain flavors. I am a true believer that flavor has a sweet spot, and when it comes to this 
this wheel here, you don't know whether you're at 65 or 67 or 70 watts. So that can definitely be a bit confusing and it just really takes away from the quality as well. And my fourth and final con really has less to do with this specific device and more to do with Segeli as a whole. Segeli really needs to get out of this rut that they've been in for quite some time now and start innovating again. This device is very reminiscent of an iJoy mod that came out a couple months before it and this is really nothing new or special. So as far as I'm concerned, Segeli just really needs to stop being an industry follower and start being an industry leader. So at the end of the day, is this device worth purchasing? Would I go out of my way to pick one of these up if I didn't get this one in for a review? Out of the three Segeli mods that I've recently reviewed, I'm gonna say yes to this one. I like this one better than the M Fang or the Sobra kit. However, overall, it's still a no from me because it really doesn't innovate or bring anything new to the table. The iJoy mod was out first and I feel like they did it a little bit better. And overall, it just really brings nothing new that I really want in my life. So there you go. If you still wanna pick one of these devices up, link is on my website. Link to that will be right down there in the description below. But that about does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Leave your comments down there in the box below and make sure you check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and as always, vape on!